Spam, as I'm sure you're aware, is unsolicited messages, most often coming in email, like the one you can see here, trying to get you to buy pharmaceuticals or some other nonsense. But they also come through instant messages, forums, social media, even text messages now, blogs, wikis, and pretty much anywhere else that they can think of in order to spam you. Mostly it's to advertise some sort of product. You would think that spamming wouldn't work, but the barrier to entry to become a spammer is low. So spamming remains economically viable because spammers have very small operating costs and it is difficult to hold senders accountable for their mass mailings. It's relatively easy to hide where the emails are coming from. If you send millions upon millions of emails, enough of a small, small percentage take the bait. The email protocols we use today and have always used were designed in a time of trust. So there's little defense built into those protocols to defend us against spam. And that's something we're going to cover a lot more in the section on email security. With spam, if or any emails, if you didn't request it, then you should be suspicious of it. Doxing, something completely different to spamming. Dox is an abbreviation of document. Doxing is to do research on an individual or it can be an organization or company to find personal and private information. Often in order to cause embarrassment, discredit, extort, coerce, harass, and, you know, just generally cause problems for the victim by publicly releasing the information or the threat to publicly release it. If someone is said to be doxxed, it means that information about them has been made public or it's been broadcast in some way. Doxing can be achieved by simply searching on the internet and looking at public records. There's often lots of information about people out there that they don't realize. You know, you can search through social media sites and forums, which is one reason why you should keep anything private, private. People are quite surprised at the amount of information that is actually out there on them. It can also be done through contacting your phone company, through IP address lookups so they know where you are your, or your general location, looking at browser history, domain name, who is information, basically whatever method the doctor can use based on their level of skill. It can involve social engineering and tricking people to give away information that they otherwise wouldn't. It can also escalate to hacking the victim's computer and accounts. Examples include Anonymous releasing the identities of members of the Ku Klux Klan and Donald Trump reading out the phone number of Senator Lindsey Graham. The ethics of doxing is obviously considered questionable.